We are back in Target and we're in the candy section again. It actually looks pretty good, but um, let's take a look and see if there's anything we can straighten up. Now the first thing I spotted when I walked over here was um, this. Now this is something that several people pointed out to me and I never knew. So if you have a pack of gum or whatever like this, so you see how it's come, it's kind of torn there. And I never knew this in all the years I worked in retail, but you can actually take this part right here and fold it back. And you have, you have another way that you can hang it. Like it's, um, it's, it's a little, uh, it's not perfect, but like you can hang it that way. So if we take this Dentina ice, now this is, um, Arctic chill. And it goes, let's see if I can get it to stay, but I think it goes up here. Yeah, so I mean, I mean it, you know, it kind of hangs down a little bit, but it will stay up there. And you know, we love uh, we love gum here. Well, I don't. I, I have misophonia, and I prefer that people not chew gum. But look at all the options we have. We have all kinds of bubble gum, regular chewing gum. Like this is black raspberry twist, and this one again is messed up. Let's see if we can do it that this is some um, double mint I don't see individual packets of double mints I'm not sure about that let's turn this over I don't know if they're all gonna work that way this one kind of does just barely though I mean look at that it's gonna be hanging by a thread I'm gonna fold it back and we're gonna try this try dent black raspberry twist it goes right there okay and again it's not really pretty but it does kind of stay here's orbit this is sweet mint i've never tried this kind let's see where the orbit here it is right here sweet oh no i didn't see it that one's the same let's try to turn it this is such a neat trick. I wish I had known this when I worked in retail. I had no idea you could do this. So again, see I've kind of folded it like that. So we're going to try that. And there it hangs. And there's one more. We have win Winter Mint Orbit Gum. Turn it over. Pull this back like that. And that's a pretty blue. I like the blue on that. Okay, that's a winter mint that goes right there. Oh, you can even get a big eight pack too. Boy, that's cool. This is my favorite mint chocolate chip extra. It's good stuff. Let's look down here and see what we have. Oh, we have Trident. They really need to make these better. Look at that. There's another one. This is original flavor Trident. Oh, look at that. So you fold it back like that, and it goes right there. And there is um, bubble tape. Oh, my kids love this stuff. Let's see. I wonder if this one will do it. Oh, see, this one's not going to work. Um, there's no little thing there to hang it from, so I'm going to have to, unfortunately, leave that back. Let's see what we can do with this. Juicy Fruit Mixies Gum. Oh, it's colorful. Let's bring some of that down here. Yeah, and then we have Ice Cubes, Bubble Breeze, and Cinnamon. Here's another Orbit. This is uh, Peppermint Gum. Turn that one. And the Orbit is way up here. There. I'll just pull these up a little bit. They have a lot of different flavors. This is um spearmint, peppermint, polar ice. I'm not a big fan of minty gum. It all tastes like my grandma's purse in church. Here we have double bubble. This is a gum that I know from my childhood. They don't, they don't have big red. Big red. So 
right? Actually, just help somebody find some gum. <laughs> My work here is done. Ooh, look, it's a bag of eyeballs. Now, these don't go over here. Um, <laughs> milk chocolate eyeballs. That's kind of cute, though. Look at that. <laughs> chocolate eyeballs. Okay. I'm going to actually actually put these over here that's Halloween Halloween candy oh my goodness look at the size of this good I've never seen one that big it's got 120 pieces in there goodness gracious and then we have the Eclipse winter frost car cups let's bring those up way back there in an empty box right there here we have some more look how many of these are broken this is uh, starburst gum strawberry flavor it's okay it's pretty good now this one we can fold back and this one starburst where is it I'm looking right at it I know um, Tridiant juicy fruit where does this go I actually don't see it now that I have it ready. I don't see Starburst gum. So over here you have the bagged candies. And yeah, I'm probably looking right at it. Tridiant. Where does the Starburst go? Shoot. Well, I got it all ready and I don't know where it goes. Actually, that's not the only one because we also have this five this is Wrigley's five and I don't see that oh I do see the Wrigley's five it's right there let's try this one fold it back this is the neatest trick I want to thank everybody who told me about it because I had no idea you could even do that so I don't know where to put this but I do know where the big red goes because that kid that was just over here was on the phone with his mom saying he couldn't find it and I <laughs> I was right in front of it and I said, here you go. So, all right. The, this one, I don't know where this goes. And I know it's some, um, because you have juicy fruit. This caught my eye first. Look at this juicy fruit collisions. But it's not that. I'm going to put it right there. And then we have icebreakers, mento green. Big bag of those. And they have Five Nights at Freddy's stuff which my younger son was really into, and then he just kind of, I don't know, it's like he just got over it or something. He's moved on to other stuff. Lots of Mentos gum. A lot of that. Let's move this up here. Mm -hmm. Now this, I'm gonna put over here. I don't think that belongs over here. And then we have, this looks like, I don't know if y'all remember, cassette tapes. This looks like the packaging that they used to come in when you bought cassette tapes. I think cassette tapes were great. All right. Oh my God, look at this adorable little, little tins of Altoids. That's precious. Oh, now it won't stay. I have done done it now. Stay there. Oops. I should never have touched it because now it's now it doesn't want to stay. Dag nab it and have to put it up there. Sorry. Mentos, Tic Tac gum, breath savers. And they have some little plushies down here too. Look at these cute little things. Oh, it's like a little coin purse and it has candy in it. That's cute actually. Look at that. It has a little zipper and you can put candy or you can keep your candy in there. And Trolls candy dispensers. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Jolly Ranchers Crunch and Chew. And then we have just the regular Jolly Ranchers hard candy. These are on sale for $2.46, and you can get this great big one for $9.01. And Skittles, all different mixtures of Skittles, and Starburst. Just 
kind of move them around a little. They have Summer Splash, Starburst, and Tropical. Bright Side Skittles and Sweet Heat. I tried a few of these and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I couldn't decide if I liked it or not. I was the same way about the candy corn flavored M&Ms. I, I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about them. I mean, they weren't bad, but I couldn't, I couldn't really decide how I felt about them. And then we have regular Tootsie Rolls. Skittles. I think that's about as good as it gets. You have a post in the way, you see. Look at that giant bag of Swedish fish. Ooh, and Airheads. You get 60 bars of those for 806. And then we have Airhead Bites. My younger son won a spelling bee at school today, and they gave him some Airheads as a prize. So he was pretty excited about that. He made it to the county spelling bee yes, not last year. I don't know how it's going to go this year. We'll just wait and see. There. And just, ooh, there's the sour ones and then the regular ones. They have a giant, look at that giant container of Sour Patch Kids. That is 1.9 pounds of Sour Patch Kids. Oh, my God. These are the regular, and then they have watermelon, too. And then they have the smaller bags of watermelon. Oh, and they have Tropical and Haribo Star Mix, all your favorites. Oh, they have Sour, sour Bite Slaw. Some of these bags don't like to stand up very well. They just, they just get lazy. I'm going to lay down on the job. Now, let's see. Airheads Mini Bars and Swedish Fish. Oops. Now, in this store, they have Twizzlers and Red Vines. Now, I like both. I'm not going to pick one over the other. I think they're both good. Okay. And over here, we have the little bags of chocolate goodies like Reese's Minis. Now, these are not wrapped. They're just little unwrapped mini cups. Let's look back here. I'll just straighten these up a little. And how heavy is that? That's eight ounces for 319. That's not bad. Oh, and they have York unwrapped minis too. Those are always good. They don't have many. Two for six dollars. And I'm I'm not a big fan of the, the white chocolate Kit Kat bars. I don't, I don't really like those. I like the regular, this kind, just the regular chocolate. And the cutest little bag of peanut M&Ms you ever saw. Look at this. So cute. Oh, and they have the snack mix, sweet and salty. That has peanuts in it. Oh, and this has almonds. Cool. I have not had dinner yet. This is difficult, but I am hanging in there. Oh wow, you can get a box of these full-size bars, 18 of them for $12.59, or 18 of these for $12.59. Now on the night of Halloween, if you have that at your house, you are everybody's favorite. Word gets around who has the full-size candy bars on Halloween, and then everybody comes to your house. I only got to go trick-or-treating once as a kid. It did not end well. It wasn't my fault. Um, I grew up in a tiny town. And there was really only one street or two that you could trick-or-treat on. And the one year my mom took us, these kids were hiding in the bushes and egging the cars that drove by. It was very cold that night, and our car got egged along with a bunch of other cars before the kids got caught. And my mom had to, you can't turn on the windshield wipers when your car's been egged because it gets smeared everywhere, and it, you actually, it makes your vision worse. It, makes your, it, it decreases your visibility. 
so she had to drive very slowly to the car wash and get out in the freezing cold and get out there and clean our windshield off. And she was so mad by the time she got done. She said, I am never doing this again. And we never went trick-or-treating again. I think that's why I enjoy it so much now with my kids. Well, with my kid, my older son has decided he's too old for it, but I think that's why I enjoy it now because I never got to do it. But that one time I was maybe five, I guess, five years old, but we never went again. So it's kind of disappointing, but I mean, I kind of see her point, but in a way it's like, you know, can't you, can't you let us, you know, let us try it one more time. But she was so mad about about it that she said, nope, we are never doing it again. So, oh well. Oh, look at this mess. Ooh, what do we got here? Smash mellow. Oh, look, it's cinnamon churro flavored snackable marshmallows. That's pretty cool. Now they have mint chocolate chip, cookie dough, and the cinnamon churro goes right there. Now what's this? Skinny dipped almonds. Ooh, that sounds good. This is dark chocolate espresso. And then here we have pretzel crisps. Now I don't know what's going on over here. Sorry, I had to move for a moment. There are people over there and I have to get out of the way. Look at this. They have little packages of red vines. That's cool. It's five ounces. Nice little snack size there for 99 cents. Bring those down back there. And they have Sour Punch Rainbow Straws. And Hot Tamales. There's one not turned the right way. Cinnamon. Fierce Cinnamon. And Toblerone Chocolate. It's getting kind of empty. Because look, we could do this. Like put these back here. Take this box out. Oh, there's one in the corner. Bring this one down. Let's straighten them up a little bit if we can. There. And little, I love these M&M minis. These are so good. And they come in this little flip top snacking thing. M&M's caramel. I brought this up before. It's actually kind of gruesome if you look at the picture. It's like they're pulling one of their friends apart. Look at them. And they're grinning about it. They're, they're like, they're smiling. And we have Maltesers, which some of you guys overseas are familiar with. Hershey's chocolate bars up here. And the Swedish fish are a mess. Let's see, we have, these are all tropical flavor. Let's fix that. And these are the original Swedish fish. Turn that the right way. And Sour Patch Kids, regular, and watermelon. Oops. It's not cooperating with me, look at that. And dots, which are not great. Um, and nerds, I love these things. Rainbow nerds and original Skittles. Bottle pops. And what have we got here? Bean boozled jelly beans from Jelly Belly. And they're a mess. Tobler on good lord, that's heavy. It's 12.6 ounces. That's a big one there. Now we have these little bags of I'm not even gonna try to say any of these because I'll say them wrong and a puppy will die somewhere, so I'm not gonna try to pronounce anything. 
Just remember that all words are made up and at some point somebody decided probably pretty far randomly how it should be pronounced so it's not worth getting in a twist over. I'm just going to put that out there. One of my biggest pet peeves is nitpicking. Probably more than trolls. I think nitpicking bothers me more. Goodness gracious, look at that. 15.2 ounces of these truffles. Whew. And these have the little sales things. These were always annoying when I worked in retail because they kind of get in the way of the stuff beneath. Lots of these. There. I love the bags, how pretty they are, all the pretty colors. That's really nice. Ooh, that's a pretty box. Look at that. Mm. Honestly, I've never been all that bowled over by a Godiva chocolate. I mean, I don't... It's not bad, but I didn't... I don't think it's anything to write home about. I wouldn't ride two on a mule anywhere to get it. Chocolate, raspberries, and dark chocolate. That goes right here. Right there. And we have Cadbury Dairy Milk. And Ritter Sport. There. Chili chocolate. Ugh, okay. Here's some sea salt. That's dark chocolate. What's that way back there? That goes there. And then we have the larger bags of Dove chocolate. These don't ever stand up right. They just don't. Oh, that one's heavy. See, they just flop over. That one doesn't want to stand up at all. Look at it. I'll make you stand up. I'll put one behind you. There you go. All right. Let's see here. Let's try to stand these up. Oh, these don't really stand up. Not, not really. These are in a little plastic holder, like that. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. It comes in a little plastic container. I like that. I want to turn it where you can see the front. And this one's upside down. Now, these are good, but I don't think I would want that many have to keep them in the freezer. Oh, and we have um, jerky. Let's see. Okay, now we're back over here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, these are mints. They're little chewy mints. I didn't see that before. That's cool. Okay, I'm back. They're gone. I had to get out of the way. Now, let me look at this part here that's messed up. Let's see if we can fix any of this before it's time to go. This is dark chocolate crunch pretzel crisps. This is Brookside dark chocolate. That goes up here. Pomegranate flavor. Now I think these actually do go down here. This is dark chocolate sea salt that goes up here. I don't know what happened here more boy they have a lot of this dark chocolate crunch oh here's another one <laughs> yikes i don't know there we go and another brookside that goes right here i don't even know how all this got down here and then these are the milk chocolate peanuts and these are the almonds Let's fix these dove almonds. Okay. Now the peanuts we can stand up. Peanuts. And almonds back here. Let me get that one. And then we're just going to try to stand these up. Oh, don't fall over. It'd be like dominoes. Okay. 
And this one, you can face those two that way because that's all for the same item. And here we have some organic peanut butter cups. Two for $3, that's a dollar fifty. I bet they're good though. And then they have dark chocolate ones too. And then we have these bigger bags. You can get a whole bag of just the 100 grand chocolate bars. And this is chewy caramel with milk chocolate and crispy crunchies. I want to do a video, and I, I've been, I think I mentioned it before. I just haven't done it. I want to do a video just showing you some of our different candy bars and stuff. And I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> just haven't done it yet. Oh, these are good anytime. I love those. I would eat that anytime. And look at all the M&Ms we have here. Reese's Cups. And these are um, Reese's Cups with crunchy cookie stuff in them. Yummy. And here are the caramel ones again where they're pulling their body apart. That's just kind of disturbing actually. Let's see. giant bag of peanut butter M&M's. Heck, all this familiar. And peanut M&M's in a smaller bag. Stand up straight. Don't fall. All those don't go here. These are the Reese's Minis. Let's see. So they probably saw these first and then they came over here and said, oh, look. going to put those back where they belong and then we can get back to this. White chocolate peanut M&M's. I've never tried that. That's a new one. I've tried most of these at least once. Let's put this forward. It's not perfect, but when you're dealing with bags of stuff like this, it's kind of hard to make it perfect because they're always going to kind of slouch a little bit, you know. Oh, Andes, I love these the individually, wrapped, individually wrapped with Andes things, fun size Snickers. Oh, and these are good. I don't know if I've ever shown you these, these are called Take Five. And it's a five layer bar. It has milk chocolate, pretzels, peanut butter, caramel, and peanuts. When we do our um, American candy, I'll try to remember to get some of those. And we have Hershey's Nuggets, special dark with almonds. Let me get one more back there. There. Try to stand up. Come on. Pretend the cops are looking. Stand up straight. Don't fall over. That's just the most adorable little bag of snacks. They're little Snickers bites. Oh my gosh. Let's bring some of these up. Wow. And look at the size of this Hershey's Hershey bar. Well, that's a big one there. <laughs> up a little bit didn't I? Smashmallow strawberries and cream and you can see what they look like in there. I've never tried tried those. I've never seen that before. Bark Thins snacking chocolate. There. That's better. Okay. Oh they have turtles minis too. That looks yummy. Alright so um Let's fix the starlight mints. And the Sour Patch Kids. 
a little bit anyway. There. That's better. Better than it was, I suppose. All right. So that looks good. Or marginally better anyway. And the candy's over here as well. That looks pretty nice. So thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me while we straighten candy and gum and all kinds of stuff. And I hope to see you again soon.